It's so weird. It's so weird for me emotionally. I, I mean, I'm saying this a lot tonight, but last year I accepted Shane's Creator of the Year Award, and I started my speech by literally saying, this is the only time I'll ever hold a Creator of the Year Award. So it's like, to be nominated for it this year is so crazy. People keep asking me, you know, like, do you think you're going to win? Are you going to win? Like, who's going to win? And to me, it's like, I, I don't see myself as a Creator of the Year. I never have. I'm just me. I'm the, I'm the misfit. I'm the weirdo. I'm the fuck up, you know? So to like, be in this position and to know that that many people resonate with me to me like is the win for me like I, th to be nominated is the win I am like I am peak emotional right now it is crazy this to me this is one of the biggest sides of my life it's amazing and yeah. but I feel like that's why they do relate to you because you are so real with your fans in one of your most recent videos you were talking about how it was a brand deal but you like kind of like pulled back the curtain on brand deals in yes. the video why do you think it's so important to be honest and real with your fans on the internet. Yo, to be honest with you, I think there was a lot of um, 2019 where there were moments where I look back now and I'm like, you could have been more authentic. And there were moments where I I look back now and I like, I hate myself in a way for ever even losing sight of authenticity in the slightest. And don't get me wrong, I wouldn't change anything and I don't regret anything because I feel like I learned a lot. But I also feel like my ending lesson of 2019 and the way I want to begin 2020 is remembering that the most important thing to myself and my fans and my life and my happiness and my mental health is being authentic, you know, and is remaining authenticity, whether it's with the people around me, the things I do, the things I say, or whatever. I just, if I can guarantee you one thing, I will, I will not stray away from who I am at any point in the next year of life or whatever. <laughs> well, looking toward 2020, you've been teasing some projects, and you posted about this MTV pilot called yes. Bustedness. Yes. So. What's going on with that? I have spent the last half of this year working on so many secret projects, and if you know me, I am a loudmouth bitch. I cannot shut up about the things I'm working on, and keeping all of these things secret is so hard for me. I'm, it's just eating me alive. I'm at home like, when can I tell the world? When can I tell the world? To even get to talk about bustedness is like so sick. I never, you know, I grew up watching Ridiculousness. So did Jake. We didn't even know each other. We were growing up watching the same show, and now for us to even have the opportunity to be like bootleg Rob Deerdeck and Chanel West Coast, and like, react to videos and like you know what I mean like Jake and I react to funny videos like at home at his house chilling so like gets to do that on television and reruns for the next like fucking five years is crazy and he's like my best friend so it's you know to get to do that with like your best friend is it's sick I never thought my life would be this aside from busterness what else is coming up for you and Jake in 2020 oh my god for Jake and I in 2020 hopefully just like some naps some naps with spaz like 100 percent there's a lot of things that we're working on YouTube content so many like crazy you know things like that but at the same time I think Jake and I had a really business heavy year and a lot of the business stuff I think is what created the skepticism towards our relationship because it was people being like oh my god like this is all for business and I'm like but I didn't love and it was like this whole thing so if anything what I hope for Jake and I in 2020 really is just like alone time happiness naps chilling and bustedness of course <laughs> There you go. And one more quick question. You have a show next week, a Christmas show. Yes, right? I do. What do you tease do. about it? I was like, which show? Holy fuck, life is crazy. Um, no, I am doing a show at the Gramercy in New York City um, in like a few days, basically. It's like a holiday variety show. And I'm so excited. I haven't toured or done like a single variety show in a while and it sold out in like a day or two and it was like I didn't expect that at all so I'm just excited to hug my fans and I'm gonna play them some unreleased music and it's just gonna be like a super chill fun vibe and I think it's gonna really precedent touring in 2020 and hopefully going a lot of other places so yeah, yeah. there you go awesome. <laughs> sorry I'm excited thank you so much good luck tonight have so much fun tonight thank you so much for being so kind to me have an amazing night thank you guys